Hello everyone, so today we'll be making a linen braid holder that is very simple and effective to make. So this is all the materials you're gonna to need. I'll also link the materials in the bus in the description. 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 <laughs> we're also going to follow this five easy steps. So we're first going to make the pattern and then cutting the fabric and then assembling the ribbon nope 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 <laughs> okay so it's making the pattern cutting the fabric and then applying the ribbon and then assembling the braid holder and then we will finish up the last details and also don't forget to subscribe and like this video so without further ado let's get to it so hey to guys. make this linen braid holder we're going to be using this book as a guide and also use this pattern to make the braid holder so i will leave the measurements in the description below so to make this pattern you're gonna trace it onto white paper and then paste the white paper on a piece of hard cardboard so that it looks something yeah, like this and then you're going to trace it onto brown paper but if you don't have brown paper you can also use newspaper so it's going to look something like this a hexagon <laughs> So I already have made two big hexagons, so I'm just going to show you how to make the small hexagon step by step. So without further ado, let's get to it. So as you can see, there's a big triangle and then a small triangle, which is marks X and A. So you're just going to cut on that line. So I already have them add, make the big triangle. So I'm just going to cut that. And now you have a small triangle. And then you're just going to use some newspaper. And then trace the triangle six times. So when you finish tracing off the triangles, you're going to cut it out so you can use the pattern to cut out the fabric. So now that you have the pattern, you're going to pin it to the fabric and then you're just going to cut it out. So you need two small hexagons for this one.
So now you're just going to cut out the pattern and then you should have to. So I folded the fabric in half so it automatically will be two. And now you should have two small hexagons. So now that we cut out the two small hexagons, we're going to cut out some ribbon. You can cut it the length you like. I'm using blue ribbon for this one. So you're going to need six. So here you're going to take this two small hexagons Placing it by pretty side by pretty side and then adding the ribbon. So here I sh should have stopped because I placed the ribbon at a corner so you shouldn't have placed the ribbons. That's why I cut it off and then hot glue it at the right place. So yeah, you'll see at the end. So once you sew it together, we're going to flip it inside out. Also great tip, if your fabric is slippery, just use scrap fabric that ain't that slippery. <laughs> so now we're going to assemble the braid holder. So now I'm going to show you how to do So I'm going to show you how to do the first one. So you're going to take your two big hexagons and then sew them together. So I'm going to just show you how to do that. So now you're just going to sew across from one corner to another corner. And at the end, it will almost look like a star or a bunch of triangles.
Suddenly so you should have something like this. Now you're just going to do the same to the small hexagon, but you're going to place it like this. And then just sew it again like a crisscross. So this is the finished product. I also realized that I have put the ribbons on the wrong side so I just cut it off and hot glue it on the right places so basically if you pull this all together you it makes pockets so you can put in your baked bread and then yes arrange it like that